Hello from Florida. Uh, let's see. It's Saturday. Mm, what is it? The 2nd of July, 2014. And I just finished glazing some pieces. <clears throat> and I thought I'd shoot a before and after for the firing. So, for anyone who's interested, here we go. I just made a new bat two new batches of both standard ceramic supplies matte black and their frosted turquoise, and so I wanted to test it. Um, it's doing a little something there. It doesn't usually, but could just be new batch. Maybe it's a little thick. I'll know after this test. They're both really good colors. And I've used frosted turquoise over matte black many times. So I will know if it's working the same way that it used to, if I mixed it the same. So this is one of those little hand-built bowls where I put the texture on the inside. This one happens to be in speckled brown stoneware. I'm very familiar with how these two glazes should behave on speckled brown stoneware, so we'll see. Um, what I did was <clears throat> I dipped it into the black holding on to the foot so the entire outside is just matte black and it goes down maybe an inch into the bowl and then I filled it and just poured it out and it's a little sloppy but that's good it's a test I want to see what it does this is the same kind of little bowl um, this one I put Potter's Choice fire brick on the inside and held it by the foot and dipped the rim. It's still a little bit wet right here. I'm not going to be able to fire my kiln until this gets good and dry. Then I dipped the entire thing in Potter's Choice Albany Slip. All of these pieces are on earthen red stoneware and they're all three quarters Chino and three quarters sea mist. It's a standard color I use. I like to do the crisscross. I get a little chino, a little bright sea mist, and a nice te um, texture in between. In fact, hold on, I have one here. This is what I get when I do that. On earthen red stoneware. Uh, that's the fan blowing a little bit of the air conditioning into my room. <laughs> okay, I'll just come to this end. These are a couple of tests. I just made something called oatmeal. So on the little bowl on the right, I put crazed copper on the inside, and then I dipped the outside, which went into the rim, in the new color oatmeal by Standard Ceramic. I think I might have mixed it a little thick, as you can see. I probably just have to thin it down, but I'm going to test it just as is because my hydrometer reading was really what I wanted it to be. Maybe it just has an aversion to crazed copper. I don't know. I'll just sort of... Yeah, that'll be alright. <laughs> we'll see what that does. Again, that is crazed copper on the inside and a dip of oatmeal holding onto the foot. And this one is oatmeal on the inside with a dip of Mediterranean mist holding onto the foot. Now, in this case, they're both standard ceramic glazes. This crazed copper is coyote. So maybe coyote and standard crazed copper and oatmeal don't like each other. These three mugs, um, I, I had used crazed copper over chino on white clay and I just loved them except a little bit of something didn't melt completely in the crazed copper so I re my crazed copper and it seems to be just fine um, but I wanted to try to save these mugs so I took a sandpaper and I sanded down the little chunks of white frit or whatever it was that didn't melt completely and just uh, sprayed them with hairspray, put them out in the hot sun, 
and brought them in hot and sticky and dipped them into craze proper again twice. So, we will see. These three pieces, it was going to be more, but I was having some trouble. These three pieces are red gold on the rim, which is um, <laughs> peyote? <laughs> yeah, I think so. With Mediterranean mist all over it. And it's on earthen red stoneware. And this is what I'm hoping I'm going to get. I'm hoping that where the red gold is under the med mist, I'll get that nice light color blending into the med mist. That's what I'm hoping for. So we will see. Oops, don't do that. And then this is an experiment, but it's with some combinations that I've used in the past and I love. So here's what I did. On all four of these pieces, I dipped them in med mist from the bottom up about three quarters of the way. So up to there, up to there probably. Then I dipped them from the rim down into fire brick about halfway. So I went down this way about halfway. When that was completely dry, then I put, I tried to do less than an inch <laughs> of Potter's Choice Jade because when Potter's Choice Jade is on top of fire brick by Potter's Choice, you get the most beautiful sea foam green blue breaking to purple. And I thought that would be lovely if it dripped down into the Mediterranean mist. Now, if I get some stripes on these things, I'm not going to be thrilled. But if the jade does what it always has done in the past, it will drip right down through the red and maybe even go down into the blue. That's the hope. This is a monstrosity hand-built thing I made months ago with my old slab roller with pieces of clay slumped over a bowl. And I didn't have enough to really do a glaze fire, but I wanted to do a glaze fire because I wanted to test some colors before I do a whole bunch of glazing the uh, middle of next week. So, I just had some fun. It's got, it's on speckled brown stoneware. It has crazed copper on the inside, which doesn't give you that bright, bright color like this. It's more subdued when it's on speckled brown stoneware. But then I put the red gold just along the inside rim and just along the outside rim. Because red gold, when it's over crazed copper, really pulls. So, I mean, I'm hoping that this is a pull all the way down to there. I'm hoping that this crazed copper turns into this really interesting, flowing green gold. That's my wish. And then on the outside, from the foot up, because, um, because the buckets were open, <laughs> and for no other reason than that, I kind of alternated some fire brick and some Mediterranean mist. So the outside is red gold, fire brick, and Mediterranean mist. I have no idea what's going to happen. I have new shelves, so I hope it doesn't wreck them. But you can see all the texture I put on this thing. I made all the, I made all the textures myself by running a piece of clay over. I don't know what. If I ever lose these, I don't know how I'll redo them. Or, you know, taking the end of a pencil and making little circles all over everything. It should be interesting. Okay, so I think I did everything. These are the ones I washed off because I wasn't happy with what was happening with the red gold and the med mist. I suspect that I did my red gold and I dipped it into the med mist too quickly. My red gold wasn't dry enough and there was just too much running and dripping and I was nervous that it would be a big mess. So I'm going to save those for the next firing. They're very dark red right now because they're pretty wet. And it's such a humid day, things are not drying very quickly. Okay, so, um, wow, this is the before. And give me a couple of days and I'll shoot an after. Wish me luck. I think I'm most concerned about these, that they do what I imagine they'll do. I think the rest of this will work pretty well. I'm very curious about the oatmeal 
and how it's going to um, fire. It seemed a little thick, like I said before, but that just might be the way it's supposed to be, or maybe I need to thin it up a little bit. And that's that. Thanks for watching. See you in a couple days.